Hey folks, Sean here. Just a quick note on Shark Park in the year 2020. It's been a very unusual year in a lot of different ways. We did have a fatality this year. It's caused a lot of ruckus and concern naturally as it has. Uh, Shark Park is now uh, very well known and soon to become world famous. It's a gem of the Monterey Bay. Monterey Bay is been long known and associated with large sharks since you know before the days of whaling literally centuries uh, and in you know recent decades as well in 2015 we had a bunch of pups move into the bay and uh, that hasn't changed it's the same generational category same size class of sharks and uh, their behaviors haven't changed it's the same same animal same species uh, as they mature and get larger they'll actually move out of the this area so you know I mentioned that to you know defeat the assertion that these sharks are now you know from pups gonna stay here and become 20 footers you know orbiting around the sea cliff you know cement ship and, and New Brighton Beach etc it's just not accurate you know and those are unqualified uh, comments sorry to say that but it's just not accurate information the numbers haven't increased the sharks as they get larger will move their routes and their behaviors are exactly the same as they've always you know been there's nothing you know the quarantine's going to do to change their you know behaviors they're not afraid of shadows or you know extra aggressive to surfers or or you know anything like that it's a wild animal you can't you know be careless around them right uh they're not imminently gonna you know be lethal to you either so it's it's not a you know uh, prehistoric homicidal super predator it's not a benign fluffy baby shark you know waiting to you know visit with you or, or, or you know any of that okay it's a big shark the pups are big you know most of these sharks are under 10 feet long we always have a, a mix of sharks in that 12 to 14 or 15 foot even uh, range that cruise through there and, and it's a potential hazard it's so it always has been and you shouldn't be uh, uh, careless. So, uh, state parks have put out some new guidelines, safety buoys, increased signage, and educational outreach, and that should help, uh, you know, mitigate and and help manage you know, the situation. Uh, thanks for keeping informed and viewing. Thank you.